In this video, we will look at building and running PL1 projects in Enterprise Developer for Eclipse. The process for creating, building and executing a PL1 application using projects is simple with scope to develop and support code of any level of architectural complexity and helps provide a fully integrated development environment for PL1. We'll start by creating a PL1 project. There are three main types of PL1 project. One supporting open PL1 and intended for general purpose PL1 development. One supporting mainframe PL1 that, as the name suggests, is designed for the development of PL1 for the mainframe. And a project that acts as a shared store of PL1 include files. Each also has a remote variant with identical functionality that enables you to work on a code base hosted on a Linux or AIX machine. When creating a PL1 project, all that's required is a name. However, we can optionally select a template that creates a pre-configured project. With the project created, we'll now create a simple Hello World program. Much like the PL1 project wizard, we can optionally choose a template for the source file. By default, Build Automatically is enabled. This will build all projects, compiling and linking the sources within them whenever a change is made. So after we finish and save this Hello World program, we will have an executable ready to run. If you have Build Automatically disabled, you can select Build All under Project to build all projects, or Build Project to build the selected project. We can run the program from within the IDE using Run Configurations. Run configurations allow you to customize the execution of the program, setting command line arguments, environment variables and scripts, connection properties if using a remote project, and more. Once configured, the program can be launched by selecting Run. You can also quickly run the program by right clicking on it or one of its source files and selecting Run as PL1 application. A run configuration will then be automatically created with default settings and launched. Now we'll extend our program to use include files in an include project. The include project is created much like the PL1 project, as is the include file. In order for the include file to be recognized by the PL1 source, the include project must be added as a dependency of the PL1 project. This is done under the MicroFocus build path settings in the project properties. The build path settings have three pages. Build precedence, which defines the order in which directories will be built. A list of other projects the current project depends on. And a list of paths to look for include files under. With these three pages, you can set up, manage, and maintain a source base of any architectural complexity with ease. Adding the include project to the project dependencies also adds it to the dependency paths. So now when we build the project, it will be able to find the include file we just created despite being in a separate project. We make the relevant change to the source file, rebuild and rerun, and can see output confirming that the include file has been successfully found and used. As you have now seen, creating, building and running PL1 projects in Enterprise Developer for Eclipse is simple and fast with the scope to support code bases of any size and complexity without losing its ease of use. Thank you.